was President Biden yesterday ignoring a question about TikTok. This as China is warning the U.S. over potential TikTok legislation, saying, quote, U.S. should respect fair competition and stop suppressing foreign companies. That uh, from propaganda media. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says Congress will move forward on an anti TikTok bill this week. Joining me now is Florida Congressman Corey Mills. He's a member of the Armed Services and Foreign Affairs Committees. Congressman, it's good to see you this morning. Thanks so much for being here. What should we expect from TikTok legislation? I found it really uh, curious that the Thune bill in the Senate about TikTok never mentions TikTok's name, it's just called social media. And I'm wondering if Joe Biden is hiding behind that, that he could basically sign the bill and really never do anything because it doesn't say anything about TikTok. Well, I can tell you that for me, there's no doubt that Joe Biden's compromised by China. But I love the fact that China, of all people, wants to talk about fair competition, the exact same yeah. nation with the CCP, who actually steals billions of dollars from American companies every single year in intellectual property. You know, the bottom line is that even the CEO of TikTok said he doesn't allow his children to utilize TikTok. We know that this platform has been utilized to steal and try and harvest data from individuals here in the U.S. We know that the U.S. government <clears throat> has already banned the TikTok app from being put into their phones. So if we can see that it's a perceived threat and it does have the ability to try and do these things, why wouldn't we stop the CCP from continuing to try and harvest American people's data? Well, it's pretty incredible when you look at the size, 150 million users of TikTok. And I'm wondering if the Democrats feel that if you ban TikTok, you ban a whole population of young people who might vote for them. I mean, how do you explain Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez doing a video on TikTok on the very day we're talking about a potential ban? I thought there were national security concerns, and here she is, AOC, on TikTok. Well, and also, if you notice, one of the things that the Chinese have been doing very well at is not just the misinformation and propaganda warfare campaign, but also the fact that they've been utilizing platforms like TikTok to help advance the culture war. And they've certainly been doing that with the youth who are here by trying to ensure that when they're looking and targeting these individuals, that they're only showing them videos or making them draw towards videos that would cause them to have certain types of divisive and or political views. So this is certainly being utilized by the Chinese, not just as a social media or an entertainment platform, but also as an influence campaign to try and impact the United States and our elections at home. Yeah, and I'm wondering what they want to do with all of this information. We just did a graphic of all of the data that they are able to grab if you have the app on your phone. Tiana Lowe, jump in here, because this is a lot of information that is uh, accessible to TikTok and ultimately the Chinese Communist Party, we believe, uh, it just by having this account. Definitely. And so TikTok was touting this Project Texas deal. But my understanding, and uh, Congressman can, can correct me, but my understanding is that the real threat with TikTok is the algorithm itself, because we've already seen with Huawei how Huawei uses buggy code in the middle of the rest of the code in order to extract domestic data. So the question is, is it even possible just to siphon off the data reserves <clears throat> in Project Texas? Or would any, ex would any American acceptance of TikTok have to come with Americans reconstructing that algorithm to make sure that there are no bugs designed as malware to aggregate American data? Congressman? Uh, yeah, I mean, John is absolutely right. I mean, the fact is that we don't know what type of back-end algorithm programs or any type of code or malware, spyware is actually being uploaded as you're actually doing this. We know that while Huawei was being touted as being a 5G outlet only, we knew that it was actually implemented and being put in place to do such as, you know, pulling in data, but also hijacking certain areas of secured and unsecured lines to be able to draw in more information as an espionage piece. And so that's exactly what TikTok and China's continue to do. And in fact, Maria, we saw this with President Macron during the pandemic when he asked for PPE. One of the things that Chairman Xi immediately said was that we can't sell this to you, but if you let us put 5G Huawei, we'll give you as much PPE at no cost for free into your country. And so they're very, very overt in the fact that they're utilizing these types of platforms and these types of mechanisms or algorithms or spyware, uh, malware, to actually continue to try and harvest data from Americans from a day-to-day -day perspective.
So, Congressman, what are you going to do about it? You are now an elected official on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. And let me tell you, China has a goal to overtake the entire world as the number one superpower. Look what just happened in Honduras. Honduras now establishing diplomatic relations with Beijing after formally cutting ties with Taiwan. That's what they wanted to do. That's what China wanted them to do. That's what they did. Now the CCP is trying to act like this power broker, bringing the Saudis together with the Iranians, going, talking with the Russians, talking with Zelensky. Uh, where are we in this process of the CCP journey to become the number one superpower? And what are you going to do about it? Well, I can tell you right now, with regards to TikTok, I want it banned and I want it out of the U.S. When it comes to the China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea geopolitical alignment, we are behind the ball on this, and we have to start taking a more aggressive approach. Look, Chairman Xi is closer now than ever to his road and belt initiative with the Eurasian expansion, including Ukraine, using Russia almost as a proxy militia. They've already got Africa and Oceania pretty much locked up when you talk about the ports in Djibouti and the new railways that are connected into uh, Ethiopia and the potash harvests. And they're already looking at trying to cut off Western Hemisphere supply chain from there. And then you look at the, the ability for them to issue tariffs and taxation on the Panama Canal to cut us off there. You look at the Chavez in Venezuela. You look at Pedro in Colombia. You look at the separation of Honduras and the fact that most of the fentanyl is being printed by mainland Chinese and the Darien Gap in between Honduras and Panama. So there is no doubt in the malign activities of China to try and become a hegemony and then additionally not just eliminate the petrodollar to try and replace it with a petro yen or the petro ruble to try and throw us into a hyperinflation scenario, but also the fact that they're trying to undermine the U.S. in every single space in South America and our own hemisphere when it comes yeah. to economic coercion. This is a big deal, and they're going to weaponize the WHO, WEF, and all the others as well. This is a multi pronged attack by the actual Chinese, the Russians, the North Koreans, and the Iranians to eliminate the U.S. from being the true global leader. And what does the Biden administration do about it? They take a page out of communist China's book and they send an IRS agent over to the home of Matt Taibbi. That was absolutely shameful, not to mention the fact that Joe Biden has done nothing to try and decouple from the, the trade deals that we have with China. We haven't tried to go ahead and get back to American energy, which is yeah. where we okay. need to be from an independence perspective, onshoring jobs, securing our borders, getting control of our workforce shortages. Instead, his idea is let's just go ahead and export, 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 and let's go ahead and send our work to China.